Also, what happens now? Another gym leader defeated. Well done. Rika informed me that there was an unusual trainer worth keeping an eye on. It seems she meant seems she meant you. I guessed as much. I had the pleasure of observing your last match. I was impressed by the fantastic skill you showed. I mean, it was really just the flinch at the end. If you manage to keep your momentum and achieve champion rank, I will be very inter interested in inviting you to the Pokemon League and... Hey, hey, Jeremy! I've got my team all picked out! And I saw you battling the gym leader. You just keep getting better. How good to see you again, Champion Nimona. It has certainly been a while. Whoa, wait. La Primi Primaria, pr 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 Primera. With Jeremy? Uh... Do I have to ask a question? I feel like I could just not say anything and be fine here in this scenario. What do you call her that? Wait, did I forget to give you the full explanation? Everyone calls Miss... Uh, Gita, La Prim Primera, because she's just that. She's the real number one, even higher than us regular champions. She's the top champion. I do indeed uh, hold that claim, alongside my role as chairwoman of the Pokemon League, that is. I thought you were too busy to spend time uh, checking on in on, on gyms. I'm not here to inspect the gym. I'm here- I've come to scout some rather promising young talent. Whoa! I look away for one second and you're famous, Jeremy. But hey, I found Jeremy first. You may be... Uh, La Primera, but you can't go stealing him from me. Haha. <laughs> I suppose I'll have to get in line. That's right, come on Jeremy. Time for our battle. Quick, let's go! The battlefield's calling. One moment, please. Huh? What is it? I would very much like to observe this match, if that is alright. Oh, ha! Totally fine by me. Sounds fun, right, Jeremy? Okay. Thank you kindly. I'm already excited to see you fa two face off. Let's be on our way then. I'm concerned. Are my Pokemon healed? This is a very important question. I hope they're healed, but if, if they're not, then it's fine. I'll figure it out. You remember how it all works, right? Once you get gym badges from all the gyms, you get to throw it down against the strongest Pokemon trainers around. Yes. You must face the Pokemon League. It is located to the northwest of Mesagoza. The Pokemon League is where trainers are reborn as champions, the greatest honor that they might dream of. Collecting eight gym badges sets you up to take the champion assessment. If you can face the challenge of the final ex examiner and win, you'll become a champion. Just imagine how that moment would feel. Try getting into the, that champion mindset. Now, set your sights on reaching that big, important stage, and let's battle. Excuse me one moment. I believe Jeremy's Pokemon may still be a little fatigued. Ah, oh, thank you. Sorry, I got a little caught up in my battle hunger. Well, you should be... should all be in great shape now, thanks to La Pr Primera. Okay, Jeremy, time to put on... put, put our game faces back on. Let's have us an another fruitful battle. I'm a little concerned, to be honest. Let's see how this goes. Okay, Lycan Rock. I know La Pr Primera is watching, but no need to get worked up. Just stay cool. Okay, uh, you're level 36, okay. This can work. Dragon Pulse. Accelerock. Dragon Pulse. It's pretty decent. Could be better though. 
Gonna Dragon Pulse again. Accelerock. Dragon Pulse. So far, so good. Just one more time. Probably actually should have healed, but it's okay. Let's see what's next. I don't remember every Pokemon, which I probably should. But I need to keep playing. Gumi? It's Dragon type, I believe, so let's, uh... I don't have the one that I could have had for this. Let's go Gardevoir. Also, this is a very cool battlefield here. Wherever this is. Santa Gumi. Dazzling Gleam. Super effective one shot. Oof, that was a good one. Your move really had something to it. I'm assuming she says different things depending on what's how the battle goes. Now, uh, ground. Let's go Whiskash. Because Pormo is going to be... Oh, actually, that might have been a bad move because it's also... It's electric fighting. So this could be a bad move that I just made. But that's okay. So let's see, it's going to matter who goes first, probably. So that's Earthquake. We are also overleveled. Also, you used the one attack that wouldn't be effect. It's fine. This works fine. I'll take it. Why did you use Quick Attack? It's fine. We're also overleveled, so we're fine. Okay, next up is Miascara. Skeda. I don't know what that is, so I'm going to stay in for the moment. Haha, <laughs> wow, you you seeing this? Primera? Primera? I'm getting uh, backed into a corner. Oh, right, it's your... Your starter. It's, it's fine. Let's thrash. Time to terrestrialize. Watch, I'm gonna make La Primera's eyes light up. I should have realized it would be the starter. It's fine. Well, so I'm guessing it goes towards Grass Dark, which is interesting. Very interesting. Okay, I'm pulling out all stops. Get ready. I want to see you stand up to this. Because I wonder if they're... Um, that dual types also are effective against the one that they would be effective against, if that makes sense. Or maybe it's the one that's effective against them. That's actually very interesting, if that's the case. Uh, let's sell in send in Skeledurge. And Terrestrialize, probably. See how this goes. Terrestrialize. Torch Song. Going all out for this battle. If the, if 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 her Pokemon were higher level, this would be make it uh, feel a lot better, probably. I do have to be careful though. So critical hits. Torch Song though. Should finish this off. Super effective. There we go. People are going to start paying more and more attention to you. I just know it. An amazing display of talent, even against one of one as skilled as a, as champion Nimona. That was a splendid match. I enjoyed watching very much. Now even La Prim Primera thinks you're one to watch. You've got so much potential. The way you're going, I better watch my back. You know, since the first time we met, I've been weirdly sure of one thing. You're going to become a champion, no doubt about it, Jeremy. The rest of these gyms. You can take him. 100%, no problem. I agree. In fact, you should take this. Consider it an investment in your future. 
Obtained TM-171, Terror Blast. If a Pokemon uses that move while Terrestrialized, the move's type will change to the Terror type. That is incredible. <laughs> it will change the Terror type of that Pokemon. One day, Jeremy, you and I are go uh, you and me are gonna have the greatest battle of all. I know it. I'm gonna go train up, even more than I already have been. She shows such support and friendship, or perhaps, perhaps she hopes you truly might rival her. No, I think it's more no mere hope. She seems to have complete faith that you will catch up to her. At any rate, allow me to return you to the gym where I found you. That was a good battle. And now we have a decent number of things. Let me check my profile, which I think I can have to check from the map. No, hang on, that's not how I check the thing. I need to go to the map and then zoom out. This is this is this is how I have to check things. We have five of eight gyms completed now. And the next gym isn't that far away from what I can tell. Although it might actually be because I might have to go around to get to it, because I don't think I can just go through the city. I have to go round, I think, to get to there. Which wouldn't be too bad, because that's still not that far away. Just have to cross a few bridges. Or possibly go through the cave. So yeah, the next gym isn't that far away, by the looks of it. And the next two are on, in the mountain area. I think that's all of them, right? Yeah, since there's only three left. Cool. Anyway, I think I'm also going to head back to the town over here because I remember that there was somebody who was wanting to trade uh, for something that I don't have yet. I can't use the taxi while I'm inside. Why? Ah, it's fine. Don't need to warp while inside for any reason or anything. Okay, let's go. We also need to explore a bit more of this area as well at some point, so we'll get there eventually. There are still so many things to do. So many things. So where is this person? What do, they, what do they want to trade? Because I don't remember. It's been quite a while. New classes are available to take. I also need to check that. Flababy. I think I have a Flababy. If that's the Pokemon that I think it is. You're a Flay- no, you're a Floet. Hang on, I need to check my Pokedex probably for this then. Which I have to open up the map for. Because in all the Pokemon games you could open up the Pokedex or the profile from the main menu. It's odd that you can't do that anymore. Also, that's the wrong thing. It's fine. Map, please. Buttons. Pokedex. Okay, for babe, for baby. <laughs> Can I numerical order A to Z? That's probably going to be easier to find it. Might not have seen it yet. Is it the thing? Also, the word, the names are sideways, so I'm going to turn sideways to read. Ah, uh, yeah, I might not have seen it yet. Possibly, but I still need, I want to find it at some point. Unless it wants to trade something, the person wants to trade something else. No. Also, it's, it wants to trade for a sn for their snom. So I don't need that, I don't think. It's still be pretty cool to do it, and they might have a special terror type, but I don't know. I'm not that invested, I don't think, so. Also, that's, that's, this is where the Pokemon League is. So I'm assuming that that little entrance there is a cave from somewhere in the world. Wherever that might be. Also, the Great Crater Powder has that little dark patch on it. But so does this area up here. So I don't know what that's about. Ah, but anyway, we need to zoom in, please. And probably go back to the Academy and do some lessons because we've been slacking. They've been waiting for us for ages. 
And I'm also 10 or 9 Pokemon away in the Pokedex from getting another reward. So that's something else I want to do as well, so. It's still such a good song here, but it, I have to turn it down because it's too loud. For when I'm trying to focus on other stuff. Let me also check the map here quickly. See if there's anything new to check. There are new things to check. So yeah, I have my work cut out for me. Let's do a class first though. Or two or something. I don't know. There's a lot. There's a lot apparently. I'm going to try and bring all these up to three. Languages. My favorite. What could possibly go wrong? Just everything. It's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. I'm fine. My dear friends, how are you all today? Feeling absolutely it's fantastic, I hope. It's time for Salvatore's language lesson. Etes vos prets. I don't even know if I pronounced that correctly. It's fine. Are you ready, everyone? You can answer with yes or oui, you, oui, oui, oui. I, I know, I know that one. Maybe. Oui. C'est super. In our cl last class, I believe I taught you all how to say thank you in other languages, right? In less co oh, why, why, why? Ah. They're supposed to be teaching us how to read other languages, not use other languages to teach us. Teach us nothing. nothing. In this coast, uh, 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 Jude. Here, I think I, I'm probably going to stop reading the extra words. Today's class, we will learn about a certain word sure to make people happy when you use it in your travels abroad. What word do you ask? Well, you have to guess. That one there. <laughs> Can anyone tell me what the, these words mean? Jalisiox Hachi? And Bono. I feel like the problem with this is not that they're using different words from other languages, but it's not telling me how to pronounce them, is what I'm mad at about this, so. Uh, delicious. Well, correct. Says to super. I knew I could count on you, Jeremy. All these words mean delicious. Using the local word for delicious at markets or restaurants is sure to be to get a big, a, a, a big smile. That is from whoever you're talking to. It'll make our communication go more smoothly. I guarantee it. People love it when someone says cuisine of... Says the cuisine of their homeland is delicious. Who wouldn't be happy to receive such a compliment? And now... Let me give you... Give you all <laughs> one of my wise words of advice. The first step to smooth communication is to compliment the person you're talking to. I'm not going to compliment you. Please just teach me how to pronounce things. Instead of just use words. After all, it's not very likely that a compliment would put someone in a bad mood. This doesn't only apply to people in other regions, either. It's the same for all of you, too. You can put this tip to good uh, to use with your classmates. Have you all tried com complimenting each other after, after class? I bet it will make for a, a ambience. Plus... I don't even know. There are too many new words that I don't know. A more friendly atmosphere. That's all for today. See you all next lesson. That is, adios. Metany. The language class will be the end of me. I don't know when, but it will be. I think it might have already been the end of me. Now this language is three. Cool. Let's do art two, though. So, uh, my laptop just crashed, which is probably why Audacity was struggling for the past hour. Uh, but anyway, it's fine. Hello, class. It is I, Hazel. Yet again. In our previous class, we discussed what beauty is. 
which might have been a little boring for you, so we're kicking you out. So today, I thought I would mix things up a little to pique your interest in art. Allow me to introduce our special guest. So happy. This is Professor Gibble, the assistant lecturer for today. Now then, Professor Gibble, if you would be so kind as to terrestrialize for us. Well, we're seeing a terrestrialized Pokemon as a cutscene thing? That's cool. As some of you already know, a Pokemon can terrestrialize if you can use a Terra Orb. Also, why can't we just see terrestrialized Pokemon in the wild then, without them having to hide their type? Normally, Professor Gibble would be of the Dragon type. But by terrestrializing, it succeeded in changing its type. So class, what type do these lovely glistening flowers above Professor Gib Gibble's head represent? The Grass type. Excellent, Jeremy. Full marks for you. Now please get out. Wasn't asking you. These beautiful flowers blooming above the pro above Professor Gibble's head show that it has now become a grass type. The shape of the Terra Jewel above a Pokemon's head depends on the Pokemon's Terra type. To summarize, if an opponent's Pokemon terrestrializes during battle, observe a Pokemon's Terra Jewel closely to see which type it has become, and choose effective moves accordingly. It is my sincere hope that today's lecture will help you all achieve beautiful victories. The terrestrial phenomenon is indeed a fascinating and deep subject to, subject to discuss. That is it for today, class. Thank you, Professor Gibble, for your help. That was a good lesson. Like, that was, that was a top tier lesson. That was so easy, <laughs> easy to do. Wasn't at all difficult for any reason at all. In fact, I'm I might do art three because of how enjoyable that was. But well, that's it hasn't crashed so far, so that's a good sign. Well, my computer hasn't blue screen. That's the one. Hello class, it is I, Hasselig yet again. I've been told that my previous lecture about the Telesor uh, phenomenon was very well received. Wow, how did you know? Thank you all for your kind words. Does this game have a microphone? Is there a microphone in my controller? Somebody help! Send help! The game knows. The game knows. In fact, Miss Dentra specifically requested that I even uh, that I impart even more no battle knowledge to my students. So I've decided to, that today we will take another look at how a Pokemon can crystallize. And of course, here is Professor Gibble to help us. Now then, Professor Gibble, if you'd be so kind as to, to crystallize for us. If it's a different type. It's a different- what? But, 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 does that mean we can change the types at some point? Now, what do we have here? Last class we saw grass type crystallizing, but this time we have something of a different shape. Observe, a tarot jewel resembling a snowflake. Its uh, dendritic shape is stunning to behold. I don't think that's the right combination of words, but it's fine. It's a little chilly, standing so close to it. So class, what terror type do you imagine this jewel might represent? Uh, ice type. Excellent, Jeremy. Full marks for you. I'm always listening to you. Always listening. The reason there's a snowflake shining above Professor Gibble's head is simple. It is now an ice type. And Profess- and because Professor- Ah, start again. And because Professor Gibble is currently the ice type, ice type moves would be would would not be very effective against it. Keep in mind, usually they would deal quadruple damage to Gibble. Now, here's some trivia about snowflakes. While snowflakes come in many different shapes, 
and sizes, most are classified as hexagons. Just think of it, snowflakes fall from the sky, taking similar shapes without anyone saying. They must. Do you not feel the great mystery of nature, the beautiful enigma we live in? Huh. <laughs> ah, this is a bit of a tangent, but Mr. Jack's cl uh, glasses are so hexa hexagonal, aren't they? I almost forgot to mention that they that you can change the Pokemon's terror type at the treasure eatery. So you, you but I thought that cool. That's cool. I go there at some point probably. Check that out. Located in Medali. Though I must say the cook there is a little prick prickly. You need to get on her good side if you want her help. Now, come uh, prepared for next class because it is time for your for your midterm examination. Thank you for today, Mr. Oh, Professor Gibble. So you can change your terror type for your Pokemon. How did I not know this? Also, I really hope that you can learn that without having to learn lessons because I, I imagine that there are so many people. If that was the case, that like there, there's so many people who haven't done the lessons, so. It'd be easy to miss that if the if the game doesn't tell you in any other way. So then, where where is the thing that it's referring to? There aren't that many cities, so oh, there. Interesting. It's just like one of the other special buildings or something. Oh no, it's there. That one. Cool. So that's where you can change your. Terra-type Pokemon, or the Terra-type of your Pokemon. Cool. Anyway. Are there any more lessons? That I might be willing to do? Art midterm. Okay. I wonder if it's listening to me still. It's always listening though, I guess, so. It's fine. I'm safe and secure. Those are good terms. I do hope you're all ready because it's time for your midterm exam. Focus and do your best. And begin. What is the name of the gemstone that glows over a Pokemon's head when it terrestrializes? Uh, a Terra Jewel. When the answer to question one is the shape of flowers, what does that represent? Grass type? What shape, uh, most like snow? Snowflakes classified as uh, hexagon. Where is the eatery that f allows you to change the terra type? Um, Medali. What makes something beautiful? Uh, there is no correct answer. The eye of the beholder. That's probably the correct answer. Time's up. That's it for today's test. Pencils down, please. I'd rather not have students worry about pa passing or failing my in my art class, but tests are tests after all. Huh, 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 huh. Anyway, good work everyone. You can check your results at the front desk. So is that it for the, the, the class or is there more after that? There's probably more after that. I imagine. There's just going to be more and more classes throughout the game. It feels great to get tests out of the way, doesn't it? Let's take a look at your results. You must get three questions correct to pass the midterm exams, and four questions correct to pass the final exams. Let's see how you did in your art class to art test. You answered five out of five questions correctly. Let's go! That's a passing score. Congratulations. Mr. Hassel asked me to give you give this reward to any students who pass the exam. Five XP candies, yes. So I guess there are reasons to do the lessons, if you pass the tests. Keep doing your best. So yeah, I guess I'm going to have to do the rest of those as well, to get the rest of the rewards and find out what they are. But anyway, that is it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.